So for years, the golf pros have been using data to improve the game, and Snowflake is actually home to more than a trillion golf data sensor points. And this foundation is a ton of knowledge that is both used by pros, but now with AI, a lot more of us will be able to access all those insights. And so today I'm here with Snowflake Industry Field CTO, Fawad Kurashi, who will explain all of this, how it works. Welcome. Thank you, Julian. So we're going to be talking about AI. That's what everyone's talking about. But I think we mentioned trillions of data points. How do we actually turn trillions of data points into insights that someone like me as a golfer would just want to see for like every swing, every time I use the sensor? If you think of IoT, there's a lot of noise that is generated by IoT sensors. You mentioned there are more than a trillion points that are stored in Snowflake Data Cloud by, uh, by the sensor coming from uh, Arcus Golf. But those trillion points are converted into 800 million or so shots. Because when you are playing the, the game, you're moving the club for more than more than just playing the shot, you know, measuring the shot, you know, looking at different distances. So there's a very complex data engineering process that goes inside the Snowflake platform that converts those sensor points into shots to understand what is a noise and what is a valid shot. Once you have done that conversion, you can then give it to AI to, to build those different kinds of recommendations and suggestions for players to improve the game. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know when I play golf, I usually do a couple of fake swings before I take the real ones. So I'm glad that the application is going to take uh, care of removing those. So the interesting thing, right, is the club has a sensor, but the ball has no sensor. So how do I actually find out, right, one is the distance, how far was my shot? And I'm even more curious, like, how often am I getting close to the sand? Uh, because that's something I don't want to want to do over time. Oh, absolutely. Uh you're correct that the ARCA sensor is attached to the club and the ball is analog. So there are two things that are happening. The, the first thing that we do is we take the satellite imagery of more than 45,000 golf courses around the world. We digitize them in Snowflake. Snowflake has this capability of processing unstructured data, uh, capability called dynamic file processing, through which we can process unstructured uh, files without loading them into Snowflake, processing them in place. Digitizing that satellite imagery and then understanding them in terms of geospatial polygons, where is water, where is, where is grass, where is sand. And then when you're playing the shot, you pair your ARCA sensor with your phone and you put your phone in your front pocket. Uh, you play the first shot at time T0. The location of the phone is recorded. The ball goes 200 yards. At that point, you do not know where the ball is. You walk up to the, uh, the ball and at time T1, you play the second shot. The location of the phone at T1 minus the location of the phone at T0 is the distance of the shot played at T0. So every time you play the next shot, you know uh, what was the distance of the previous shot. So that's how this little geospatial analytics and satellite image processing that is taking place in Snowflake helps the sensor in tracking the ball all across the golf course. There's a lot of magic that's happening under the hood, right? Measuring distances, thinking about times, so there's time series aspect to it. There's a satellite imagery, so there's the whole uh, hexagon uh, orientation of how the world is mapped and then matching it to images. And all that for the end user just seems like this simple statistic and uh, the application is able to take care of all of that, which is really cool. But so far, everything just sounds right, like what we traditionally call tr descriptive analytics, right? Something happened, here's, here's what happened. How is it actually AI come into play? And even more so, how does generative AI come into play? as more users are trying to improve their game and maybe get that golf AI assistant uh, as part of the experience. No, absolutely. And we always say that there is no AI strategy without a data strategy. So in order to expose the data to the AI, you first need to build a consolidated data, uh, data structure, data governance in place. So what we have done so far is process all of that complex data, eliminate the noise, put the data into a structure. And now once the data in, in that structure, you can now expose all those shots and swings and different kind of geospatial information to an AI engine running in Snowpark, which gives you recommendation, okay, okay, what kind of things you can do to improve your game? How can you drop shots? What, or what techniques can you apply? All of those uh, AI models are then run on the data using the Snowpark platform within the Snowflake Data Cloud. So that's, that's the first AI side of things. The second part is, the Gen AI side, right? So uh, Snowflake has this capability in uh, with Snowpark Container Services and with uh, Snowflake uh, Cortex, through which you can manage different kind of um, Gen AI LLM models inside the, in the platform. Now we need to keep in mind that the Gen AI models 
have a tendency to hallucinate so you shouldn't be using them for a very complex prediction and other related stuff so what you could potentially think of is i'm i'm not a pro golfer i'm a you know barely an amateur so i want to understand the game so what we could use gen ai for is how do we translate the data into human readable stuff so i have a game and in order to improve the game instead of getting complex recommendation based on ai model gen ai can suggest to me based on the data put uh, put a towel 10 feet from you and start hitting it 15 times a day 20 times a day to improve your game so that's that kind of the description explanation of the data that is stored in the platform can help the players in improving the game yeah and that's really cool i think you mentioned right there's predictive uh, there's also generative and so so like bringing all that together in a single platform and sure having it all together makes it a lot easier for Arco to do this. Now, you do mention, right, maybe amateur uh, golfers will benefit a lot from this, but uh, what about pro golfers? Can they also use this data and get a lot more valuable insights and AI out of it? No, absolutely. The beauty of the Arco uh, sensor is that it gives unique personalized insights for each player. Whether you are a pro player with a, with a top handicap or whether you are a beginner with, with just uh, getting into the game. It will, it will analyze your game, it will analyze your shots, it will benchmark you against the different categories of the players and the recommendation would be always be tailored to you. It's almost like a human caddy always in your pocket running at the back of the Snowflake data cloud. I like that, a human caddy in your pocket. And so if anybody's interested to learn about other cool stories from customers using Snowflake for machine learning, AI, whether it's predictive or generative, uh, please go and check out snowflake.com slash snowpark where you can learn more about the Snowpark platform, how it runs on Snowflake, and how customers are using it for their AI on top of their governed data. Well, what? thank you for joining me today. Thank you, thank you for having me.